welcome back to the channel and today Yuzi and I are going to be doing submarine dogfighting and now what we mean by submarine dogfighting this time is uh we're actually going to be fighting with submarines in the air the uh, catch is that our submarines are going to be water propulsion only so that's the only uh way we're going to be able to propel and get uh speed in our subs what we're doing is we're actually going to use logic on the submarines to prevent them from firing underwater so right now I am holding down the fire button and then you see as soon as I wait why is nothing working anymore all right so I'm holding down the fire button right now and it's not firing but you can see as soon as I break through the surface all of a sudden everything works we're basically going to be building gliding submarines we're going to be using a different design so that we can spend more time in the air and uh, that's going to be our only opportunity to cause damage is when we're in the air and you got to be able to aim and uh, we'll do the same kind of concept where we start with a smart cannon then we do mini guns, and then we have our rocket rounds at the end and uh, see who can come out on top. Sounds good. And I do believe we only have a limit of 150 blocks. That's oh, right. that's right. 150 block limit. Um, and we will be using only one of each gun, right? Yes, that is true. Well, uh, you ready to get building? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. So this build is obviously going to be a lot different because it's basically going to be a plane that uh, it gets us speed from underwater. So we wanna be completely controllable as if we were like in the air, but we also wanna be at a lot of speed. We have 150 blocks to deal with, and I think a lot of that needs to go into speed. The more speed we get, the more time we're gonna be able to spend in air gliding. All right, so I'm using this design for the fuselage. This has some really beefy uh, four by eight panels in here. Um, and it fits the spaceship cockpit pretty well. And I'm using the spaceship cockpit because it is underwater compatible and also um, indestructible. But just because it's indestructible doesn't mean it's not detachable. This can be completely detached. I'll just survive the detachment. And now I'm actually realizing I might want to hollow out here um, because I'm going to fill this with propulsion. So these underwater propellers, I believe, should fit in here and then i can fill this in just like that all right cool so now we got a really nice fuselage that has a built-in propulsion in it and i'm probably going to add a lot more propulsion to get some speed as well all right so now i'm going to build the wings the wings are going to be interesting because uh it, they're going to be the important part here they're going to be what determines how long i can stay in the air but they're also, I don't want them to get shot off because if they get shot off, they're going to just, I'm not going to be able to fly anymore. But you know what? Maybe that's just, <laughs> that's just how planes are, aren't they? All right. So that's my wing design and I'm hoping that this is going to help me do what I need to do. I might want to put actually more uh, aileron control in here. I might switch some of these out for flap wings and then also have those be roll control. Just because if my, if the tip of my wing gets shot off, I don't want to not be able to roll anymore. All right. Now I can copy the fuselage section a few more times to extend it out. Yeah, this is just a plane. This is just an underwater plane, basically. Is it a is it a uh, a gliding submarine battle or a submersible plane battle, but also still in the air? I think gliding submarine battle makes more sense. You know what'd be kind of funny is uh, having underwater propellers as if they were jet engines underneath the wings like this. I kind of like this idea. I need to add the tail onto this thing now. So I'm going to do a standard tail like this. Okay, uh, do I have all the functional parts here? I probably have way too much lift on the front, don't I? Oh, okay. Oh, hmm. <laughs> and my seat has fallen off. Uh, so this is, this is actually not as good as I was hoping it was going to be yet. All right, I mean, underwater control seems there i don't actually have my uh got my gun on here yet all right so now we go up this doesn't feel good for gliding right now i need to look at the center of forces i feel like my lift is way i have no lift in the back and all lift in the front my center of lift is way too far forward so i'm going to move these wings back all right there we go now they are much more aligned oh yeah i gotta put the logic in here for the guns too all right, I still need way more speed. How many blocks do I have? 96. Oh, I have so much more space. I feel like just lining it with uh, props is like the way to go. All right, but let me create this uh, this weapon system. So the weapon system that we're using to do this, if you guys ever want to try it yourself, is actually super simple. So all you need is an AND gate and an altitude sensor. 
And this altitude sensor is going to set to, uh, I'm going to do, we're going to do it relative to waves because we're going to be using wavy areas in order to do this. Set the altitude to zero and, uh, have this go into the AND gate and then set your AND gate control to whatever your button firing is going to be, which I'm going to be using left click. Then you slap your weapon on your vehicle, which in this case for the first round is going to be a smart cannon. Make sure you delete the smart cannon controls and hook the AND gate into the smart cannon. So now I will not be able to fire this thing until I am out of the water. And you know what I'm realizing? Having my altitude sensor in the tail is actually hurting me because my tail comes out of the water later than my nose. So I should essentially, I should really have the altitude sensor where the gun is for this to work uh, best. So I'm just going to slap this altitude sensor right behind the gun. So now as soon as the gun gets above that altitude, uh, we're golden. But gliding doesn't work. Why doesn't gliding work very well? You know, if I hydroplane like this... I can keep firing. All right, go underwater. Man, I need way more speed. This is uh, this is getting a little bit harder than I was expecting to be uh, to be maneuverable in the air. I think I'm gonna have to consider a redesign for the sake of speed because these underwater propellers are just bad. They're too bad. So I'm gonna rethink my wing design here, and I have an interesting idea. I'm going to uh, redistribute the wing area to be more lengthwise on the craft rather than just sticking out farther. And I think this can make for an interesting design. All right, this is my new wing design. I think it's gonna uh, probably get me a lot better on the gliding aspect of things. So now I also need the tail. I'm gonna do a plus sign shaped tail. All right, so does this work in theory? All right, it all works underwater. All right, hold on, I got roll, I've got pitch, and I've got yaw. All right, and now what about in the air? Oh boy, oh boy, hold on. Oh, the air is so much slower. Everything just works so much stronger underwater, which makes perfect sense. And you know what, I'm gonna copy that. I need more uh, pitch. All right, I also need more speed. I'm at 64 miles per hour. If I can get like 150 miles per hour, what's my block parts? Okay, 100 blocks. The rest can be spent on propulsion. All right, so these outboard engines are actually the strongest, but the attachment point is terrible. So I might just have to go for these. I just gotta make sure that the aerodynamics aren't hurting me. Okay, now how fast do I go? 107. Okay, that's good. And now gliding. Oh, look at that. I was a lot more time in the air, but I was surprisingly wobbly. Why am I so wobbly? Oh, the wind! There's wind on this map! I forgot! That's why I'm wobbly. Oh, that is going to affect things depending on where we're battling. All right, now I go 130. I think I've kind of reached terminal, like around terminal velocity where I'm getting strongly diminishing returns. But I mean, check this out. I'm kind of gliding because I'm adding more, a lot more weight when I add more uh, propeller propellers. But I feel like I have a decent amount of controllability here. Man, the, the amount of speed I have is almost dangerous, especially in shallow waters. I might just kill myself on the bottom of the ocean. All right, another thing I want to do is um, I feel like it might actually be pretty useful for me to be able to turn my uh, my gun because I might not be facing directly at UZ when I get out of the water, so I might want to be able to turn it left or right. So I'm just going to add a servo for that. All right, so now I can aim left or right, depending on where UZ is compared to my trajectory. So I think that's going to be super useful. And that brings me to 133 parts. Uh, so let me take one more second here to add some shields to the altitude sensor. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I can add a little bit more aerodynamics here. All right, I'm happy with this. All right, Scrap, have you finished your submarine build? Uh, yes, I have. You want to see it? Yeah, let's see it. All right, here it is. Um, Ooh. I actually, I, I, I focused a lot on speed so I could get the most airtime as possible. Um, but it, it does go pretty fast and jumps out of the water pretty well too, as you can see. Wow, Here, that look. is a lot of lift. Let yeah. me let me turn around here and come at towards you. I'll show you one of the features of it. 
So I don't have a lot of control of where I'm facing after I come out of the water. So I wanted to make sure I could try to shoot you wherever you are. So I have the ability to turn my gun <laughs> and shoot whatever direction I want uh, <laughs> once I'm out of the water. So of um, hopefully, hopefully I'll just be able to hit you or get some shots in your direction. Oh, and I'm dead. Uh, I have my seat at the front, so if I hit anything, my seat falls off and I die. That is an incredible build you built right there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so let's see what you got. Okay, so here's mine. Whoa, interesting. Yep. So Gives I me like to... Star Wars vibes. Yeah, pretty much, right? It looks like a speeder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanted to focus on controllability in the air. Here, let me just... Oh, I, I died also. <laughs> so I'm able to just like maneuver myself a little bit in the air, which is my, looks... the whole point of this. That I want to be so able to cool. Aim. You definitely got the aesthetics, uh, the aesthetics award on this one. Yeah, I originally, I was actually building like an airliner shape at first, and uh, it was just aerodynamically not doing well, so I switched it up completely in the middle of my build. What's your speed at if you're just underwater? Uh, my top speed is around 88 miles per hour. Okay, I'm around 130. Wow, that's that's quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, but uh, my controllability has a lot to be desired, so. We'll see how that how that hurts or helps me. All right, you ready to you ready to do the first battle here? Yeah, let's spread out and I'll give us a countdown. Okay, this is pretty good. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Let's get into this. All right, I am really nervous about slamming into something. Oh, you're you're way down there. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just realized we were gonna hit each other and I like I turned away at the last second and I couldn't shoot. <laughs> I got some good hits there. Yeah, you uh, did a lot of damage to the top of my vehicle. You knocked off something. I think you knocked off one of my uh, uh, propellers. Oh. All right, there we go. Oh, man. We're going to oh. slam into each other one of these times. <laughs> good shot. You nearly got my seat. Come on. Oh, this is fun. Oh, okay, that was dude. so satisfying. You definitely got some hits on me, though. Took off a prop. That's not good. This is this is really fun. Oh, I can only get like one Ooh. shot. I see fire coming off of you. Man, you're getting the top of my vehicle a lot. Which is and not what I was expecting. Below me. It's pretty vulnerable underneath my build now that I realize. Oh uh, yeah. Huh, do the bullets go under oh yeah, these can fire underwater, so these bullets can go through the surface. Okay, so oh that's actually interesting with these uh rounds is if I'm in the water, that doesn't mean I'm safe. Yep. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're up in the air, you can start firing at me. Oh, good shot. Okay, that changes the dynamic a little bit. Oh, you went right underneath me. See, I can I cannot aim up or down. I have to be facing uh, my vehicle in those directions. But side to side, I do have control over. There we Man. go. Ah, Ooh, I felt good about oh. that one. That's oh. rough, dude. That felt so epic. Some of these some of these uh jumps feel so cool. Oh, there's an aircraft carrier. Wait, did I know about this? That's the danger <laughs> zone aircraft carrier is underwater here. <laughs> I don't remember if I saw that one. I seen like other sh uh, ship wreckages, but not the actual aircraft carrier. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. <gasps> I am so glad I put the reverse controls in here. I almost just nosedived into the bottom of the ocean. Oh, where are you? Above Sorry, you. <laughs> bullets. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, uh. you can jump so much higher than I can. <laughs> I'm losing control a little bit. Yeah, I'm having a lot, a lot harder of a time controlling right now than I was expecting. It doesn't look like I have any functional parts missing too much, but uh oh, dang. My roll is like so bad sometimes. My turn. Can I hit you? Oh, you got some hits. Hit the up. The fact that you can aim your smart cannon, that's crazy to me. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to think about while you're doing everything else, but. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Yeah, we're getting into some uh, crazy weather right now. Oh, that's probably why I'm having trouble controlling in the air. There's like higher winds out here. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 there's pillars on the ground. Or on the oh, surface. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there's a rib cage down here. All right, let's see. Oh, my goodness, there's a wave. 
Oh uh, no! Oh, you yes. took off another uh, propeller, a couple of propellers. Oh my goodness, these waves are crazy. Yeah, every time I hop out of the ocean, I'm on fire, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Dang it! You passed me. Ooh! Oh, you definitely hit. Got some hits there, man. I am glowing all over the place. Yeah, me too. It's pretty balanced. It is, I like yeah. This. I don't know what it's gonna take to uh to, to disable though. I think it's either you knock out the opponent's weapon or just completely disable them. Oh yeah, if the weapon's gone for sure. Where are you? Oh dang! <laughs> I chased you out of the water, that I couldn't see you anymore. I feel like a dolphin, dude. This is so elegant. <laughs> Oh, 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 there we oh, go. That no felt one. good. That was finally a good lock on. Come on. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> the wave saved you. One of these times, something important is going to break. Like my seat. Oh, what? I saw that. <laughs> no I way. saw your seat get completely <laughs> demolished there. Oh, good that was job. great. Yeah, I'm glowing all over the place. I got wings glowing. I got engines glowing. Well, that was a pretty fun first round with the smart cannons. Yeah, definitely probably the slowest round. I'm curious how these um, these miniguns are going to go. You ready? Yeah, let's get these uh, miniguns installed. There we go. Oh, yeah, the entire time I'm in the air, it works. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. You want to do a countdown, Scrapman? Uh, yeah, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, I feel so much more controllable now. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Ooh, oh, I took something no off. Way. Oh, you got me. <laughs> did I? From that far away. Ooh, oh, I did a no. lot. I knocked a lot of pieces off that time. I heard that. Yeah, you knocked off my wing, so. Ooh. Ah. Uh oh, oh, I see you struggling oh. there. I'm actually struck. Uh oh. oh. <gasps> Why did I just do that? I hit the ground and knocked off four wing pieces. Are you still functional? Uh, looks like it. Man, that I'm I am struggling. so exposed. This is the worst. Yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble too. Oh, and I crashed. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm still. I lost my minigun. Oh uh, no. Well, yeah, that was uh, that was a harder round than I was expecting it to be. I Let's feel see. like we should give that a retry. You like. want to give it a retry? Right, I'm down for that. Yeah, yeah we both had uh, some not too great experiences on that round. All right, three, two, one, go. It is so dark out here. I am really feeling the current. Yeah, is that, that, that what it is here? I think so. Oh, there's a wave in the way. <laughs> I jumped out of the water and there's just a wall of water in front of me. Come on. Oh. These massive waves are insane. I'm trying to maneuver in the air to actually glide to point to you, but it's the wind. Yeah, the wind keeps like messing things the wind up. Wind is pushing me. It's not working. Oh, go, you got go. me that time. Oh, nice, my gun finally. is glowing. Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, I keep doing like a barrel roll. I keep flipping over every time I'm above the ocean. It's just this area. It's so windy. Whoa, that was close. Wow. Wow, you're getting some serious air time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. I need to reposition oh, myself. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Not the island. Not the island. <laughs> yeah. I I'm almost I'm flew into the island. Away. Okay, I've made some decent ground. Oh, you're hitting me from there? That's... What? What? I had such a strong lock on. Oh... Oh, I just had a backflip and uh, got some decent hits on you there. I'm going to go back a little bit away from the edge of the map. Man, it's still windy out here, though. The high seas, scrap man. It's always windy here. Ooh, that was a good hit. What did I take off? I don't know. An engine. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, oh, there goes finally. a few engines. Good shots right there. Ow. Oh, ooh, that were some... Oh, ooh, good hits on both of us there. All right, can I get some shots on you right now? Nope. Dive quick, dive, 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 dive. Oh, oh. I had some decent locks there. Oh, don't land on the whales. <laughs> oh, this is so tense. Yeah, any one of these jumps could take off the gun or a seat. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you take off? Come on. Oh, man. That was, oh. Uh, that was a lot. 
He took, took off, off so many engines, dude. <laughs> he took off two control surfaces for me. So now my roll is uh, uneven. Oh no, there goes another engine. Oh, you just had such a good lock on there. All right, all right, that's it. That is it. Okay, nope, oh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared for a minute there. Oh no, you took off another one on the same side. Can I fly? Okay, I kind of, no, oh, I mean, okay, I can get up in the air. Oh no. Come on, this is my chance. No, oh. I cannot get in a good orientation to fire at you right now. Oh, that was almost epic. Oh no, what'd you take off oh. now? Another engine. There we go. Oh, yes. No, oh, no. that was a good one. Oh no. Ooh! I, there was like broke something. all engines. You got all of the engines on the bottom of me there. Like just one after another. That was crazy. Oh. Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> after all that! No! Alright, well, it looks like it, we're pretty balanced on the minigun rounds here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that's a draw. All right, I'm really oh. curious how the rocket version is gonna go now. All right, this is gonna be okay. interesting because uh, you can't just hold down the button and hope that a bullet hits. You gotta actually fire when you're locked. All right, do we want to spawn somewhere else? How about the top right? The abyss? Yeah. All right, you ready? Yes, okay. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> so, oh, see, now this is another element is uh, rockets. Oh, no way. <laughs> Uh, what I was gonna say is rockets can't go underwater, so if I'm underwater, I can't be- like, you shouldn't be able to hit me. So I gotta wait until you get above the surface. Oh. 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 <laughs> that was close. That. that was close. I cannot believe you hit me right away on your first shot like that. It's kind of risky jumping in the air because once you do, you have like this stalling point where it's like you're just sitting there. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh. Oh no! That was epic. Good job. Wow, that was so cool. <laughs> I've lost all maneuverability. Oh, did you lose like a whole wing on your side? Yeah. Wow. I'm fighting it to really try and control this. I'm pretty much finished. I just <laughs> I can't fight back really. Oh, oh now. yeah, there you go. How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you ripped off my tail. Can you get out of the water anymore? Um, no. <laughs> oh, you are sinking. That's it. That's game. All right, well, let's, uh, the rocket rounds tend to be pretty short, so let's do the best two out of three again, and they're, they're the most fun as well. Count us in whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Round two. <laughs> uh, dang it, couldn't get a lock. Oh no, we're going back and forth. Oh! Oh Whoa. no, that's it. My rocket's out. Oh wow, <laughs> one shot just like that? Good Man, job. these are crazy rounds. I don't know what to say, dude. I'm just not on my A game. Yeah, these uh this was a weird, weird way to fight, but it was super unique and fun. So many different variables, like the winds, the current of the waves. Yeah, how just high everything. the surface was gonna be when you get out yeah. of it. <laughs> it's a very unique idea, this one, Scrap Man. I really enjoyed it. Great suggestion. Yeah, it was inspired by the comments. People were saying uh, to do like submarine battles or something, and um, we were doing. We were. We've been on this dogfight kick, so I'm like, can we dogfight with submarines? <laughs> but uh, people should leave some more suggestions for sure for other types of uh, dogfights or weird battles that we can do that aren't your typical just plane versus plane. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll uh, probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.